Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm actually bringing you a Pootles project. So this um, little box was originally made by Sam Pootles um, and I believe she called it her cuties adorable box or something like that. Um, I'm calling it my forever dainty box. Um, I've obviously used the forever greenery suite here, isn't it? Just divine a little bit of gold on the top there. Um, I have actually pinched, <laughs> can you see those little glittery clear embellishments on the top? Those are the elegant faceted gems from the Peony Garden Suite but they just fit so well on here that I thought I had to use them. Um, and yeah, this cute little box just opens up to house a little treat. I love the closing on it. I think that is a fabulous genius idea, but those are Sam's projects anyway. So I'm going to show you how I made the most current version. So as before and as always, we need our scoring board and we need some DS, sorry, some cardstock that measures eight by five and a half inches, which is 20 by 14 centimeters. On the long side, we're going to score at one and three quarters, three and a half, five and a quarter, and seven. And then on the short side, we're going to score at one and three quarters and three and three quarters. So on the long side, <coughs> excuse me, one and three quarters, three and a half, five and a quarter, seven. And in centimeters, that will be four and a half, nine. 13 and a half and 18 and on the short side we score at one and three quarters three and three quarters which is four and a half and nine and a half centimeters okay so again as you know we're going to fold and burnish these beautiful score lines work my way down them all, and this last little one here, okay, and then we're going to turn it sideways so we have this small section to the left, and what I'm going to do is just simply cut down each section and then we're going to cut away this small one here. No tabs though, everything is cut straight and I'm also cutting away this first one here too. Okay but hang on to that because you will need it. I'm going to do exactly the same on the opposite side. Cut down all of the points all the way to that score line and cut away this one at the top, cut down this one, and this one. Okay, so you should now be left with this shape and these parts are all separated. Then the middle one here, we are gonna cut some wedges out of. The same on the other side. <clears throat> so that is what you are left with. I now need my beautiful detailed trio and I'm punching or rounding the corners on this thin strip here. So I'm going to pop that in and then the other side Make sure it's all square and lined up and punch that one. Okay, now I need some, <coughs> excuse me, adhesive. Uh, where is it? It's still on my <coughs> tear and tape. And what you're going to happen here is you're going to use one piece, if you like, the bottom square here as the outside that's going to wrap around that one and then this one is going to tuck all the way inside to create 
the squares there. Okay, so what you probably need to do is put some adhesive on the outside of this top one here and on the inside of the bottom one here. Replay, re, repeat that on the opposite side. Okay, and then we'll take the backing off these. So these are going to fold inside, and all you need to do is just make sure that this bottom edge sits straight when you fold that one up and likewise here <clears throat> make sure it's sat straight and fold that piece up and then these ones should fall in place quite easily so I'm going to go with that one over the top and you just really here need to make sure that everything lines up as it should <coughs> excuse me now just make sure they're all squared up and there's your little cubed box that you're just going to fold the top over on so now you need your DSP and you need a strip that is one and a half by seven and three quarters of an inch, which is four by nineteen and a half. I'm going to round the corners at one end. So that's that done. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it on my lid to where I want it, and then I'm basically going to just fold it round my box, just creasing where those folds are. <coughs> I am so sorry. And then I'm just going to reinforce those folds. And yes, I am using my nail and not my bone folder, just quicker. <laughs> And the last one just there and I'm just making sure that the sides are still lined up so once that's done I'm just going to grab my snail and I'm just going to pop some snail on the front part and just on this final square and then we're going to pop it in place so again you can just find that fold that you've already done just to ensure your sides here equal and then fold it around the box until we come back to the start almost <coughs> how pretty so to decorate I told you to keep one of these Oops. I have one of the gold speciality DSP elements there that I have just trimmed down slightly. I have some DSP here. This is for the small bloom punch um, and I actually am using if you like the reverse of the paper just to create three small flowers. So and then to be honest what I generally did with these is I got my um, scoring tool and I just on my finger I just sort of did circular movements in the middle of the flower and it kind of encourages it to curl up and shape a little so I'm just some small movements there in the center just and as you can see how it sort of sat slightly raised <coughs> There we go, that's those done. Um, glue dots. So, I need to pop a glue dot 
just on the base of my gold leaf sprig if you like and I'm just going to pop that sort of at an angle just there and then my three flowers here I'm just going to pop on the glue dots and then the first one will go on to cover the tail of the gold part and these others I've just sort of tucked in and around. There we go. And then these beautiful, elegant, faceted gems. I might actually go with the frosted ones on this one. <coughs> Excuse me, just to see how we look. Oh, yes. I'm going to have to buy another packet of these, I think. These are divine. They've got, can you see? They have a real, it's picking up everything else but this. I'm hoping you can still see, even though it's blurred, that they have like a, almost like a glittery, oh my goodness, they are divine. Wow, I've not noticed that before. I thought they were just sort of frosted. Um, but they're not. I wonder if it will pick it up on this, now they're on here. Can you see? Per almost pearlized. Anyway, sorry, that's me. I love them. They're just so nice. Okay, so my last little bit of stamping then. So I need this bit of scrap Whisper White. So I've gone with the Hello Sentiment. And then this sort of leafy bit. And I need my Garden Green Repair Pizzazz. Garden Green is just simply for hello. <coughs> and my Repair Pizzazz is just for the leaves that I've just actually stamped off first and just stuck behind there. And then I just need to bring in my die cutting machine and my layering circles. Obviously, if you have punches, that's ideal. I'm just going to grab my layering circles, and you just need the two smallest ones here. So, your smallest one just fits hello. And your second one will just fit on that square of card that you cut out earlier, so we don't waste. <clears throat> and then I just grab those, swing this back out of the way, and then <coughs> excuse me. And then I have these gorgeous ones left so this is going with some snail onto this one and then you need a couple of dimensionals but you obviously need to make sure that when you put the dimensionals on they're going to clear the lid because otherwise it will stop there and not do what it needs to and the way I did this was I closed the lid I popped my sentiment on so that it was touching the bottom and I then looked and I realised that my lid actually probably runs across the top of the word hello so I knew that then when I wanted to add a couple of my dimensionals I put my nail where the top of the H is and I knew that then if I stuck my dimensionals down there, they fit just underneath the word. And again, when I pop this on, I centralised it and made sure it was level with the bottom. And then this can just tuck in the top, just like that. How pretty are they? Beautiful. Thank you, Sam. Beautiful project as always. Thank you for joining me 
and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!